Hello, my name is Toyuki Kudo from Showa University in Northern Yokohama Hospital, Japan. I thank the endoscopy for giving me the opportunity to discuss our article. Endocytoscopy for the differential diagnosis of colorectal low-grade adenoma. A novel possibility for the reject and discard strategy. All rejected colorectal polyps are currently sent for the pathological diagnosis. However, recently a reject and discard strategy has been proposed for the diminished adenomas in which pathological diagnosis is omitted after region rejection if high confidence and precise endoscopic diagnosis are possible in real time. This approach markedly decreases the time, labor, and costs required to obtain the pathological diagnosis. In fact, ASG proposed this uh, reject and discard strategy is acceptable in patients with uh, a region less than 5 mm in size if uh, precise uh, differential diagnosis of neoplastic and non neoplastic regions. And uh, patient's prognosis according to the surveillance colonoscopy interval recommendation can be both performed as with a conventional pathological diagnosis. However, I think it is important to note the evidence supporting uh, this 5 mm limit uh, was based primarily on the non magnifying NBI diagnosis, and which resulted in the poor diagnostic accuracy and limited adoption of reject and discard strategy. And cytoscopy is an next generation endoscopic system capable of magnifying endoscopic images up to 550 times larger than normal observation, thereby real time, uh, facilitating the real time uh, patholog pathological endoscopic diagnosis. In the colon and rectum, the endocytoscopy is useful for the both differential diagnosis of neoplastic and non-neoplastic regions, as well as diagnosing the invasion depth of colorectal cancers. Also, several studies have reported the usefulness of endocytoscopy for the determining the treatment cause of colorectal regions. However, to the best of our knowledge, and no study has reported the reliability of real-time endoscopic uh, diagnosis uh, for colorectal adenoma, particularly low-grade adenoma. If we can precisely and accurately diagnose the target regions of colorectal low-grade adenoma and avoid discarding the invasive cancers and uh, advanced regions, then the reject and discard strategy may become more popular. Therefore, we in our study, uh, we focus on the regions that are diagnosed as colorectal adenoma. And of these, uh, we examine only low-grade adenoma using endocytoscopy. We then retrospectively review the uh, endocytoscopic findings as an indicator of low-grade adenoma based on the associated endoscopic images. Typically, a grade EC2 finding in the EC classification are characterized by a slit-like lumen and a considered good indicator of colorectal adenomas. However, in some cases, invasive cancers uh, have been included in some regions diagnosed as EC2. Furthermore, uh, cur using current end cytoscopic classification when implementing the reject and discard strategy includes the uh, risk of uh, discarding the invasive cancers. Therefore, we examined uh, endocytoscopic uh, findings specific to low-grade adenoma, uh, which can be definitively discarded. And as a result, uh, which reveals that uh, both slit-like lumens and normal pit-like structure appeared in the endocytoscopic images. We named this finding normal pit sign or NP sign, and then assessed whether this finding was a good indicator of low-grade adenoma. The diagnostic accuracy of NP sign for low grade adenoma indicated a sensitivity of 85%, a specificity of 90.7%, a positive predictive value of 96.6%, uh, negative predictive value of 66.1%, and the diagnostic accuracy of 86.4%, and the positive likelihood ratio of 9.2%. Additionally, evaluating the diagnostic accuracy of low-grade adenoma less than 5 mm in size indicates a sensitivity of 98.5%, uh, a specificity of 40%, a positive predictive value of 98.2%, uh, negative predictive value of 44.4%, 
diagnostic accuracy of 96.7% and positive, positive likelihood ratio of 1.6. Regarding the surveillance colonoscopy interval recommendation after lesion rejection, the agreement rates between endocytoscopic and pathological diagnosis uh, was 94.3% according to the US guidelines and 96.3% uh, according to the EU guidelines. Additionally, inter-observer and intra-observer agreement rates for expert and non-expert endoscopists had kappa values greater than 0.8, except for one non-expert pair. To the best of our knowledge, our study is the first to validate using endocytoscopy in the differential diagnosis of adeno colorectal adenoma. And our findings indicated that endocytoscopy was highly accurate for diagnosing the low-grade adenoma. Of note, NP sign proposed the effectively differentiated low-grade adenoma, regardless of, regardless of the region size. Furthermore, uh, invasive cancer was distinguished without exception, and our endocytoscopic uh, diagnosis method was also feasible and highly accurate regardless of the ex endoscopist's years of experience performing colonoscopy. The significance, the significance of our results relate to the possible implementation of reject and discard strategy and the possibility of endocytoscopy becoming a, a beneficial modality using this strategy. I thank GI Endoscopy again for giving me the opportunity to discuss our article. Thank you.